And welcome back to Flo's Good Good Friday program. We're nearly at the end of it all. It's been a very interesting and enjoyable morning from myself and uh, sitting in the background rehearsing and practicing quite vigorously. Sometimes I've been a bit afraid that you'll hear him coming through the microphone, but he's been doing a wonderful job this morning, our very own Shane Elford. Shane, happy Easter to you. Happy Easter to you too, Clayton. You're doing a song for us. Mm -hmm. And so tell us what, what is the song? It's called Rattle, but tell us why in particular you've chosen that song. Uh, yeah, I just, I just really love this song. It came out about a year ago. Um, it was, uh, done by Elevation Worship, um, okay, which yeah. just comes out of Elevation Church, which is Stephen Furtick's church in America. Um, and yeah, I just love the song, um, as soon as it came out, um, because obviously Easter, uh, for me and for many people is a time to remember Jesus' death, um, yep. on the cross and what he did for us, um, but I love this song because it it goes into how it's like it's not just an event that happened two thousand years ago. It's still it's still relevant today and it's still powerful today. Um, is what I really love about the song. That's been an interesting theme that we've uh, had with the, the people that have been guesting on the show this morning about that. That the things from all then two thousand years ago are still relevant today. We're still going through them. We're still dealing with them. So mm. it's interesting that you, you picked that up and you chose that song. There, there is aspects to the song, listening to it, that uh, I can understand why it's connected to you. But listening to it and this, and why this particular song? How, how does it? Because the lyrics would have played an important part to you, and I know you wrestled for a while to find the right song. Mm. So, what was it about the lyrics, or more the music about the song that really drew that drew it to you? Um, well, I'm a music lover at heart, so yeah. I really love I love music and just the way the music sounds, even without the meaning of the lyrics. Although I do also love the meaning of the lyrics as well. Yeah. Um, so it's a good combo um, for me. But yeah, I just uh, guess, just reiterating it, I guess it resonated with me um, personally um, because uh, I feel like um, the Easter story can be sort of traditionalized and sort of shelved to the bins of history and something that we just bring up on Easter every year. But I guess for me and for a lot of people, it's something that affects us every day in our day to day life. Um, and I think it's really it's a really powerful song in the way that it expresses it. What is your definition of faith? My definition of faith? Um, it's a hard question to answer. Um, I guess it just, I'd compare it to, I guess, faith, the faith that you have in another human being. Um, you could compare it to that. Um, there's a kind of faith that says, do you believe that God exists? That's one kind of faith, um, I guess. But the, I guess the faith that this is talking about and the faith um, that I would probably um, express is faith rather in someone's character rather yeah. than like talking to you. I know you exist. That's not like, yeah. that's not an amazing sort of faith to have. I know that you exist because you're standing here in front of me, but, but I mean, am I? But, <laughs> <laughs> but I have, I guess I have yeah. faith in your character because I know yeah. you, I know you that, that you're an amazing guy, that you care about people and that you, you bring out the best in people. And I guess the faith that I have in God is not just that God exists, but that God is good, that God loves all his kids and that he has the most amazing plan for every single one of them and that yeah. he is, yeah, that he's just, um, he's just so good. And that's the kind of faith that I have in God, not that just he exists, but that he is good, that he is who he says he is throughout yeah. the Bible. Um, one of the questions that I asked the, the others this morning was with, uh, in the last 12 months, not being able to be in front of people performing and I know you play in, in your church group you play yeah how's it been for you the last 12 months with all the COVID restrictions have you been able to or how have you got around it and how has it been for you personally um yeah it's been tricky it's been tricky it's been tricky for everybody um I guess but I think it's brought about a few good changes um it's definitely, I mean, a lot of churches have had to adapt with having online services and being able to, I mean, nothing really replaces being able to meet yeah. people face to face. And, yeah, we've um, all said that, yeah. And gather together. Um, but it's really sort of, I guess, opened up our eyes for all the for all the opportunities there are with the technology that we have mm -hmm. um, as an aid to be able to um, connect with each other, even though we may be physically separated. Um so I guess there have been some challenges, but there's been some good things as well that have come out of it, which I think will continue through even after all the everyone's yeah. been vaccinated or whatever and the whole, the whole threat has passed. Um, that will be beneficial to, to everyone going forward as well. Yeah. So what are your plans over the Easter weekend? What are, what are you looking forward to doing? 
Um, I'm going to catch up with some people that I haven't seen in a while, so that will be nice. Um, I'm going to spend some time with my COVID family. COVID safe, we hope. Uh, yes, <laughs> COVID safe with the, the old elbow bump. Yeah. Um, yeah, going to catch up with some friends and some family. Pretty low-key, nothing crazy planned. Just go to church and yeah, see some people, that's about it. Excellent. Well, we've got your song here ready to go, as I say to all the people that I love interviewing about music. We've got it here ready. Shane, thank you so much for doing it for us. We really do appreciate it from all of us here at Flow. We've got the song ready for all the listeners to enjoy. If you could please introduce it to us and for us, and Happy Easter to you as well. Sure. Um, I'm Shane, and this is my cover of Rattle by Elevation Worship. Saturday was silent. Surely it was through. It's when has impossible ever stopped you Friday's disappointment But Sunday's empty tomb Since when has impossible ever stopped you This is the sound of dry bones rattling this is a praise, make a damn man walk again Open the grave, I'm coming out I'm gonna live, gonna live again This is the sound of dry bones rattling Pentecostal fire Starting something new you're not gonna run out of miracles anytime soon. <laughs> Resurrection power runs in my veins too, yeah. I believe there's not a miracle here in this room. This is the sound of dry bones rattling. This is the praise make a dead man walk again. Open the grave, I'm coming out I'm gonna live, gonna live again This is the sound of dry bones rattling Rattle My God is able to save and deliver and heal And restore anything that he wants to just as the man who was thrown on the bones of Elijah if there's anything that he can do just as the moon that was rolled in the tomb in the garden what happens when God says to move I feel him do Sound of dry bones rattling. 